Hey guys, it's Adam Archer 36 here, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a different video on a new world I've been working on. This is my biggest project I've got so far, and it is a new RPG I'm working on. And this is going to be all hand terrain or hand built terrain. So this is going to take me a really long time to build. But this is the only video I'm going to do on this world that I'm thinking of right now that will be kind of before it's released. Um, I'm going to do a little bit. Oh my gosh, face is right there. Okay, so we're going to be doing a little bit of a let's play of the beta, what I got so far. But I'm going to invite YouTubers further down the lane to try this out. So when I do do that, I will tell you guys in a video. And we're going to go ahead and be warriors. There's a little bit of a glitch with this, or a little mess up with this, so I'll fix that later. Because, like I said, it's only the beta. And we're going to go ahead and be the knights. There's only two classes in this one. One is a bow, one is a swordsman, and this world is very life-based. You're only going to have one life unless you have a respawn heart, and once you lose that one life, you're totally out of the game. So it's a very, very important game that you would want to team up with a friend, or something like that, because it's very intense. So, we're going to go ahead and start off, um, I'm also kind of showing off, so remember this is all made by me so far. But um, a bit of it, like a tiny bit, I'll tell you, was made by two of my friends, the Daskard and um, Blood Killer, but only a bit, so. Right here we got is a little under chest, is the only under chest in this town, and I'm gonna walk. Food is a little bit harder to get around in this world, so it's not that recommended that you just kind of run around, so I'm probably gonna fix that issue, but you know. And I'm mainly making this world even for looks and stuff, so this is why the world's gonna take me a while, because it's all made by me. This is like one of my best builds I've made. So, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and start by doing a dungeon, and that is right here. And this is the zombie outpost. And why is it. I guess there's already a zombie in it. Oh, something triggered it off. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Okay, we'll just let them all burn. So I guess we'll do the first quest, <laughs> which is this guy. He just says, "Hey, can you find my friend Arnold? I haven't seen him in a while. If you can get, if you can get, I will messing it out. Get you a pair of my favorite boots. Oh, can can you clear out the zombie outpost? There's like a little thing trying to tell you that there's a zombie outpost, and I'm not gonna go in it because some reason the zombies have spawned in there. We take another peek in there and see if there's even more." Yep, there's even more, and they're just gonna keep spawning. That's a glitch. I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix that. I know how to fix that too. So, a <laughs> little bit of a problem. But Arnold is in here in the Beaver Den bar, and here's Arnold just you know kind of chilling. And I mean, you get your food and um, some drinks here. So, yeah, just pretty easy. Oh, I might want to keep this for food because food will. Actually, I'm just gonna be mean and take some food, even though this is three minutes in, I haven't done like one productive thing. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and um, do the dungeon that I mainly wanted to show you, and I'll show you the new town, but that's about it that I'm gonna do, but other than that, I guess I'll have to end the video there. So like I said, this is all handmade, so that's why it takes me a while, because this has been like three hours of work, so it's kind of slow process, slowest process I've ever done in like a world. So the main entrance is right here to it. It's the ice cave. It's 50% puzzle, 25% fighting, and 25% um, parkour. Got it. So this is the secondary entrance. The first entrance is like right through here. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and say Jai Minigamer and um, Lemon, don't watch past this point because it's the part where I'm going to make you guys do the dungeon when I invite you guys to the beta. So yeah. But any of you guys are gonna be rebels, I guess. Watch still. So, <laughs> but here's how to defeat this dungeon. This is the only dungeon I'm gonna show how to beat. So it's it's actually kind of confusing once there's two buttons. But this is how you get through the first room, and you can fall going down that path. That's why I've added it. So once you fall down that path, you have to keep going through this. So this is this is the puzzle area. Like a broken bridge has been messed up. Go in here. Press that button. Dang it, okay, I messed that up. So you have to you have to make it on that broken bridge again if you want to get to the door on time because the door is already closed. So, and I mean, so far I hope you guys like the look of the map. It's, dang it, it's one of the, like I said, the longest ones I've made. I'm trying to just do this as quick as I can for you guys. Darn it, can't even jump now. And as you can see, there's giant icicles. Just kind of, I did everything to make it feel like it's, something. Gosh darn it. 
But, so the thing about this is it's supposed to be like a broken kind of civ like civilized area, like under and snow kind of area. It's a lot of redstone in here. Goodness! Ugh. It's like, there's, it's kind of like an old Mayan ruins, but like a snow form version of it. And there's just a bit more, kind of like a little bit of redstone system. I don't know how to explain it. It's supposed to be like an ancient civilization. Oh, I made it and watch me fail this jump. Made it. Go. Um, spawn this guy in. Okay, here comes the zombies. This is the second wave. This is a very easy dungeon. It's like the first main dungeon. I'm probably gonna die with my skills. The door opens, and then I kill you. And then you flip the lever again, and you just kind of walk through. You're supposed to spawn. Dang it. Uh, there's some problems with the world, but you know, it's okay. So from this, you get the frostbite and the icy tunic, and I guess I'm just gonna walk through the next town, and that's about it. We're just gonna go through this little skinny cave with a little bit of water. Just gonna walk out through here, and you can see it's kind of a little glimpse up inside the world right there, in the little cave area in there. And yeah, I'm just gonna walk right through here. It says a lot of snow, like a snowdrift. I'll add like a little mountain hillside right here. To add a little more effect to it. Like I said, there's still a ton of work to do on this world. So here is the Ed's track, which is the next bar. There's still not signs in it, and um, yeah. So here's the hotel. This is where you would get a secondary quest. So we gotta go in here. Here's a secondary quest, but I don't want to spoil it yet. So right here we have is the bank, and the bank is really nice, kind of cute, small. We could put all our stuff in here. Maybe we got we don't want to lose frostbite, so we throw it in there for no reason. And this will be a area to the next town or a giant plateau of frozen area. This is the town hall. It's been frozen over because of an ice wizard. But I don't want to even um, show that off yet. So I guess that's pretty much going to be the video. Sorry, it was kind of um, long and just kind of rambling. But I just have a lot of ideas for this world. And I don't want to spoil too much. And I still, like I said, have tons and tons and tons of work to do. So maybe this won't even be out for like another two months or so. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. It's not really little, but I <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.